Welcome everybody to the first of a series of bonus expansion videos for our Unity Beginners tutorial series. It's great to have you back and I can tell you're all fired up, eager to learn more and be the best that you can be. By far your most popular requests have been about how to add the ability to double jump into our game and that's exactly what we're going to cover in this video. Grab yourself a tasty beverage, it's time to crack on. If you've been following along with the series, awesome, for we're going to be working in our player controller script. If you've just joined us, welcome, and don't panic, but you can get up to speed in no time at all by checking out parts two and three of the series, links in the description below, which cover all things player movement and jumping before joining us right back here. All right, when you're ready, let's return to our player controller script. Like all good games with a double jump, we want our players to jump a second time when our inputs for jump are pressed again whilst currently in the air jumping. For efficiency, we're going to assign both jumps under this input. What will determine if it is a single or double jump will be the conditions we set using some additional balls. We already have our first condition set with our ball grounded so when the player is grounded, we can press and jump a single time. But we're just going to rearrange and move this condition so it's within our input function here, for reasons you will see shortly. And to do this quickly, all we need to do is copy just our input function and then delete this entire bit of code and paste back our input function. Now, let's do the same again. Let's just copy our rigid body 2D.velocity line, delete it. Now let's rewrite out our ball. So we'll use an if statement. I'm going to say if grounded. So if grounded is true, then underneath our curly brackets, and then paste back our rigid body 2D velocity line, which of course is what makes us jump. So now what we've done. It's just changed it around. This will still perform a single jump in game, only this time when we press the button, it's looking for the condition of grounded. And then if grounded, it knows what to do, and that is perform a single jump. Excellent. So this is condition number one. We want to add a second condition now that's going to allow us to execute that second jump. And to do that, I said earlier, we're going to use some additional balls. So let's go to the top and punch in our balls underneath where we have airtime counter. And our first ball will be private ball stopped jumping because we're now gonna have to state as to whether the input action for jump has or hasn't been executed for better control. Then underneath, same again, private ball and we'll call it can double jump. Awesome, those are the two balls we need. Let's return back down to our jump function and use these now to input our second condition, which will be the opposite of grounded as we already need to be mid jump and off the ground to execute the second jump. So let's write our if statement underneath and in the brackets, exclamation mark, grounded, another way of saying grounded is false and can double jump is true. So once those conditions are met, we can then jump a second time. And we're gonna use this same line of code here. However, as both of these are the action of jumping, we also have to say that stopped jumping is false. We've not stopped jumping, we're currently in the act. Now we've added that, let's copy these two lines and paste them into where our double jump is going to be. And as we are now in the act of a double jump under these conditions, can double jump is also going to equal false. Also, as this is a fresh new jump, we're going to want to have to reset our airtime counter. So airtime counter equals airtime. So we get a clean, full second jump. So to round up what we've now done, whenever we press the input for jump, it's going to check one of these conditions. If we're grounded, 
initiate that one jump and then if we're mid-air not grounded and have the ability to double jump once we press our input again we get a second full jump now that we've stated once we've jumped stop jumping is false in order to control the heights of our jump when we hold down the button we are gonna have to add that statement at the end here so in order to do that Let's add another open bracket at the beginning. And before we add our close bracket, let's add and exclamation mark, stopped jumping, close bracket. So, so long as we hold the input down and stop jumping is false, we can continue to determine our height with our held down input. Then underneath here, where we release our jump input, we're no longer in the action of jumping. So let's underneath, add stopped jumping equals true and likewise once we've hit the ground we want to re-enable our ability to double jump so can double jump will also equal true there we go now before we save this and go double jumping around our levels in the start function it's best that we define stop jumping as true because we are boots on the ground we're not jumping, we're ready to go. So let's crack a save, head back into Unity. Now you will see when we press once, we have our standard jump, press twice for a nice clean double jump. What's also really cool, because we said we can double jump when grounded is false, if we fall, boop, we get one shot and a nice recovery jump. And there you go, guys, tweak that to your liking. I hope you've enjoyed this video and are having fun with your projects. If you do see the value in what we're doing here, please do consider subscribing. We very much appreciate it. And we thank you all very much for watching. Take care guys, I wish you all the best, and I will see you soon.